Hello and welcome to this podcast from the KQ Jet Setter. In this episode of Chat with KQ Jet Setter, we focus on how Kenya Airways is leveraging on technology to enhance communication to customers on flight disruptions through the recently launched KQ Flight Communication Service. My name is Frederick Tunga. I'm the Chief Information and Data Officer for Kenya Airways. The communication system that Kenya Airways has implemented is a system that integrates directly with our uh, passenger reservation system and has a lot of uh, interfaces that help us to understand our customer touch points uh, and be able to meet each customer's need at the right time and via the best channel. So basically, it's a very collaborative tool and has the capabilities to pick uh, data for our customers so that we can be able to offer them personalized services. Uh, and it's uh, uh, from a technology point of view, is a best box solution that uh, simply is built to scale and be able to do everything where we need about communicating with our customers or our passengers straight away on a real-time basis. Uh, my name is Eric Okeo. I am a quality assurance and training officer uh, based at the CEC. Um, so just looking from where we were before in terms of uh, managing the disruption process, um, it was not a very efficient process. Uh, like giving an example, uh, because it was a super manual um, uh, process, uh, we could never really give customers, uh, inform them about uh, disruptions in good time. To the extent that sometimes customers, uh, passengers would actually appear at the airport uh, without the knowledge that the flights were delayed. And that of course used to you know, leave a lot of egg on our faces. Um, so with this new um, tool, uh, one of the things I think we've, uh, we're actually looking to achieve to be able to give customers you know, timely and uh, you know, proactively reach out uh, in cases of disruptions. And um, with timely notifications, of course, it gives the customer that opportunity to, uh, if they know their flights are delayed or cancelled, whatever the case may be, to make um, alternative arrangements, travel plans, and if they can, they can make uh, alternative arrangements in advance, uh, as opposed to getting to the airport and only realize that I have to get there for you know, six hours with my flight. Um, um, in terms of customer experience, improving customer experience, I think because we're also able to now send notifications um, through multiple channels, uh, SMS, uh, email, uh, WhatsApp, uh, it means we're giving customers more convenience uh, so they can, you know, can engage them through a channel of their choice, what's convenient to them, as opposed to earlier on where we're just limited to emails uh, and uh, SMSs, or sometimes one, but that was not very, was not very effective. Uh, again, because with the messages, the notifications themselves are very personalized uh, because we address the customer by name. Um, it's very unique to their own travel itinerary, the information. And uh, of course, the customer will of course feel acknowledged because we're addressing them by name, talking about the travel plans. And uh, with that, I think it sort of shows some sort of care. I've seen certain reactions from customers from the notifications we sent. At least there's those who will um, write back. Uh, when you see that email and write back and say, I'm not comfortable with this uh, alternative given, would you please uh, give me you know, something different from what you already offer? Yeah. Which is, um, like before, uh, you know, we, we would send out those applications and just believe uh, we had no way of knowing whether the customer was uh, agreeable or not, unless they have to call us back. But from this, at least I've seen customers now engage us based on that information, the notification you sent now. Uh, maybe if I could just follow up on that, um, do we have customers who perhaps after receiving the notification call in? Yes, they are, I'm calling in to confirm. I've actually received a text mm -hmm. saying my flight is uh, whatever happened to the flight. Mm -hmm. Is that the actual status? Then we give them that you know, information. Mm -hmm. yes. From my own analysis, yes. um, there are these default queues. That, uh, we have this um, uh, fallback uh, system where if Delivery is failed, then we have to manually now uh, do that. And just looking at uh, the number of failed um, deliveries mm -hmm. that we have to, that require manual intervention, at least a success rate of about 70%. So, 
So for customers to receive this information, uh, they need to, I'd like to encourage them to make use of our online check-in facility available on kenyaairways.com. From there, they can give us their personal contact details, uh, phone number, email address, and that will allow us to, be, uh, that will allow us, uh, to send them this disruption notifications um, whenever there's a change on the flight status. So um, the channels that they receive their alerts from would be email, SMS, and uh, WhatsApp. The alerts are sent out to customers in almost real time, and um, the, a customer should be able to get that notification about five minutes from the time a disruption happens. Kenya is in the in the right traction. Uh, we are adopting technology. We uh, we believe that digitalization, digital transformation, is a way to go as an airline, so that we can be among the best in the in the industry. We are looking to be the world most preferred airline. Technology and digitalization are key enablers. So we will keep on tapping into these capabilities so that we can be able to improve our operations from both effectiveness perspective, efficiency, and delivering memorable world-class experiences to our customers. To stay up to date with more episodes, follow our KQ Jet Setter Spotify channel or subscribe to our Kenya Airways YouTube page. To read these and other stories, Subscribe to our KQ Jetsitter newsletter on LinkedIn.